folks, Austin Manning out here at Johnson RV, your home for premium pre-owned motorhomes. Today we're going to look at a brand new coach from Forest River. Let's go take a look at the Forester 2401W. So here's the Forester. Again, this is from Forest River. Uh, this is the 2401W model, uh, one of their best sellers, very, very popular. Uh, part of that, of course, is the chassis itself. It's on the uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, uh, so people are really inclined to uh, how great a gas mileage you're going to get on the Mercedes diesel as opposed to some of your other options out there. Um, you do have a 3-liter V6 turbo diesel uh, from Mercedes for the engine. Uh, dual wheelbase on the back too, so uh, it definitely drives. Uh, very easy to drive, really good for handling, really nice stiff suspension. Um, some of those uh, windier roads getting up to the campsite are going to be a breeze in a coach like this. Uh, it measures in at 24 feet and 11 inches, so just under 25 feet which makes it a nice, small, compact length. Uh, easily you can take that to pretty much any campsite. You're not going to be too long, get turned away because they don't have a spot big enough for you. Now, on the uh, patio side here, we do have uh, some cool features. Of course, full body paint coach makes your coach stand out a little bit. Uh, looks very nice. We do a nice blue, gray, white uh, paint scheme on their coaches here for their full body paint. We do have a nice power awning here. Uh, which is a uh, Solera product. We have a built-in speaker system on the awning itself, so when the awning comes out, your speakers are actually facing back towards you, towards the patio, so you're not blaring music out towards your neighbors. You're actually listening to music while you're hanging out on the patio. Pretty cool. You do have uh, touchpad controls for the awning itself built in on the base right here. It is power awning. It is also uh, pitchable, so if you need to drain one side or the other, uh, you can do that on the coach. Access to your propane right here. This is kind of cool. Foresters are coming with the uh, solar ready plug-in panel. So if you want to get a, uh, a mobile ZAMP solar panel, which you can actually set up at the campsite anglet so you're getting direct sunlight, it's going to plug in right there, feed straight into your batteries. Of course, we do have outside power on the patio here as well. So we need to plug in some stuff when we're hanging out on the patio side. We've got access to that right outside the door. A nice little drainable. Uh, storage compartment right there. Moving towards the back here. We do have a 5,000 pound hitch on our coach uh, on a Mercedes. Uh, typically you want to keep your towing closer to the 4,000, 4,200 pounds. You don't want to max it out at 5,000, but if you are doing a little light towing, uh, maybe bringing some toys with you on a rack system or, or bringing a small chaser car with you, you definitely can. But on a coach this small, a lot of times people don't end up needing to bring a car with them because it is pretty easy to zip around in. Uh, roof ladder for easy access. You're going to be very visible, all your lighting uh, on your brake lights are LED. And uh, we do of course have a nice backup camera that comes in crystal clear on our driver's monitor. Uh, so um, maneuvering this coach is going to be uh, pretty safe and sound. We've got our um, components in the back here for when we get to the campsite. Uh, shore power plug-in right there. Uh, plug in for cable, water connections. We do have outside shower just above our dump station. Dump station really easy to access. And of course we have exhaust for our generator for our doing a little dry camping. That's right on this back corner here, not uh, close to the patio side. So if you're running the generator, you're not kicking a bunch of your uh, generator fumes onto your patio when you're trying to hang out. You do have a fair amount of doors on this side. Here's our generator over here. Now we're gonna have multiple storage bins on this side. Nice elongated storage sides. We've got our power cord uh, reeled up into there right now. We do have lighting in our storage compartments as well. So we've got LED lights right there. The 2401W, one of the best things about it, one of the most popular things about it, it is a full wall slide model. So the whole driver's side here uh, is one big slide out. Really gives you a lot of space on the inside. We've got a couple storage bins built into that slide out. So they're going to come out with the slide, really easy to get in and out of. And then of course, underneath that, we've got a couple more bins. One pretty large one, one little smaller one for extra storage. On the Foresters, uh, one of the upgrades on the Foresters, you do actually get uh, molded fiberglass running boards, so getting in and out of the coach a lot easier and uh, really sleek, just kind of ties in with the body of the coach and uh, we do also have our side view cameras so when we put on our turn signal we're going to get a clear shot down the side of the coach 
Uh, it's going to make driving this really easy and uh, worry-free. Really pretty on the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. On uh, the galley side, we've got uh, nice solid surface countertops. They've got a really nice texture to them. A really good looking surface there. Uh, we do have a flip up counter extension if you need a little bit more prep space, which can definitely be handy. All of our appliances and finishes on the kitchen are going to be stainless steel. We've got a nice uh, modern looking sink here. Nice deep bowl for our sink. Makes dishes doing uh, a little bit easier. We've even got a a Pac-Man cover for our sink there. Up top we do have microwave convection, also stainless steel, kind of ties in, gives the whole kitchen a nice clean look. Uh, right above our three burner stove top, it's got a nice glass cover so that's usable counter space when you need it to be and then when you're cooking of course it has a workable backsplash. You also have a glass backsplash built in on the wall there. Flip that up, do a little bit of cooking here. Stainless steel oven below that. So you have both uh, RV oven as well as the microwave convection. So if you are doing uh, a fair amount more cooking, you have access to both of those for baking, which can be kind of handy. We have a nice stainless steel two-door fridge here. So you have a separate freezer section, separate fridge section. It's going to make uh, longer trips, bring a little bit more food with you, just less trips to the store, and that can be pretty handy. Just past that. We have access to our bathroom, a nice uh, solid surface on our countertops in the bathroom, ties in nicely with the uh, scheme from the kitchen area, medicine cabinet, larger, um, larger shower section, um, and easily uh, fit uh, comfortably into that shower. Some of them can be a little tighter, it's a nice size. We've got our bedroom just behind that which it goes all the way back to the end of our slide. Again, we've got a full wall slide here, so we're really maxing out real estate in here. It is a walk around queen bed, so you've got access around both sides. You've got an entertainment center built in right in front of your bed there. And then of course, uh, thermostat controls right on the wall there. Easy to access right on the other side of our bed. We've got a really nice built in uh, storage space here. We've got two rows of hanging closet storage space, uh, cedar backed closets. Kind of a nice touch. And then we've got our adjustable shelving. Nice long storage here. This one also does have a rack if you want to turn that into a uh, hanging wardrobe space. Um, really very pretty coach uh, from Forest River. Again, it's their Forester with the 2401W on the Sprinter chassis. Um, if you're looking for a lot of open real estate when you get to the campsite so you're not feeling cramped, we're just looking for more of that cozy factor, but don't want something that's too big uh, and it's going to feel cumbersome driving. It's a great fit. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Austin. Remember to ask for me if you call or come out to see it today. Thanks.